I had mental health challenges most of my life. I am a uh, person in recovery from substance use, uh, bipolar, and HIV. I have um, bipolar disorder, and I had really severe depression, a lot of anxiety. With my first wife, I would get to a point where I would just let it all out. I pushed her away, and, and that marriage was not successful. People that I knew around me, they were starting to fade off because I was going through manic episodes followed by depressive episodes. I knew that I had a problem, but I didn't necessarily want to seek help for it. My relationship was uh, just deteriorating, and I was behaving in ways that were not conducive for raising a child, and her dad felt the same way, so we decided to split. The hardest thing for me was to talk to someone about it. Fear has the great power of keeping me silent, and if I'm silent, I can't get any help. I was really afraid of telling people, like to the point where I'm on the phone and I'm shaking. These weird fears that we have, that's the stigma. Stigma plays a big part in people not seeking help because if I feel ashamed about something, especially if I feel ashamed about my mental health or my diagnosis, I'm going to be really hesitant to step into a door and tell somebody about that. When you are going through the challenges of really understanding what's happening to you. You internally are perceiving yourself as different. It causes you to doubt yourself. Somebody who might be struggling from a mental health illness might think that you know they're weaker than somebody else if they seek out help. Mental health isn't something that's intrinsically wrong with you. Mental health is something that happens that you can live with, that you can make better, that you can have some control over. Don't let your embarrassment and your shame stop you. The misconception is, is that I am a weaker person, but I'm a strong person, and I can seek out help and I can become a better person. Reach out to your local mental health authority. Reach out to somebody who may be helpful. Find a support system that will be able to help you kind of just navigate your way through. If you are feeling alone, no, you're not. You can work with somebody else who might have the same thing and pay it forward for somebody else that might have done it for you. Somebody else is going through something similar or exactly what you're going through and they need you. You're powerful. It won't always feel the way that it feels right now in this moment. And things can change and things can get better. And the life that you thought you had before these things happened isn't gone.